I've just arrived at the Muriwai Beach, Gannath Colony, and there's hardly a cloud in the sky. Here's the southern beach, Muriwai Beach. Here are the three main colonies. The uh, rock in the middle is Motutara Island and the uh, island in the background, I think it's Ohio Island, but I have to look it up again. I could be wrong. Last year, the same time of the year, I did get photographs of chucks by sheer accident. I didn't have a viewer attachment to this camera, so I couldn't actually see them.
We're looking at the northern colony here. The slopes are probably not the best, but if you don't have spots on uh, level ground, that's all you have to put up with. <laughs> it says somewhere that this is a courting display. This is the northern beach of the whole complex. The tide is out so people have to walk quite a bit to get a bit of surf. Nobody's trying to serve that I can see. If you're down there, to get to the waves must seem quite a distance. I'm on the walkway to the northern observation platform. These might all be late comers, so they might not have any chucks yet. I've never attempted yet to follow a gannet while doing a video.
this video the best I can hope for with flying birds is to just sit there and wait until they appear. the sound of the crashing waves. Now there is a ledge at the bottom with a footpath leading to it. I managed to slip in a puddle there. Obviously some stuff growing in that. I didn't kill the camera I had then. But I don't think I'm taking the risk. There's nobody else going on that ledge now. I'm having a gadget called Clearviewer, which is a magnifying glass on an extension that goes to the tripod socket. I didn't have it last year. Makes a hell of a difference.
I've used up the 12 stilts that I can take during any video. When they don't show their beaks, Fluff balls are not really recognizable as birds if you don't know what you're looking for. I might go back to the car, have some lunch, and then come back. I might as well show you that clear view thingy that I'm drooling about. Here it is in its folded position. And that means that the magnifying glass cannot burn out the LCD. I'll show you why. I have now folded down the bracket of the clear viewer and you can see that the back of the mount is solid. So when it's in contact with the LCD the magnifying glass cannot burn a hole in it. Normally I use the clear viewer with the Olympus SH-1 but it also works in exactly the same fashion with the previous model, the SH-50. The only catch is the tripod screw thread is plastic, not metal. So um, the tripod mounting on the SH-1 will last a little bit longer. Now the sun is about uh, 70 degrees elevated so wherever the beam of the sun is focused it's not on the LCD. So how people manage to burn out the LCD I don't know. It takes very few precautions to prevent that from happening. Anyway that's enough for the clear fewer. $135 New Zealand attachment to a $496 camera as I remember. Clearview is definitely cheaper than a new camera which has a viewfinder. I have had my lunch and the tide is turning. People are no longer walking out to the surf they're waiting for the surf to come to them and somebody left it too late got caught in the incoming tide of course it's so battered this could be an old wreck There they are, waiting for the surf to come in. Do you want to take a photo and send to Peter? Quite a 
question. What are they going to do about the wreck? Maybe nothing of their car. on the northern green platform it seems there's a bit more flying going on it's now 20 to 3 New Zealand summer time in the afternoon That's about as good as I can do following a flying gannet with a video. He might be flying. Here's Mokitara Island again. For the camera buffs, this is an Olympus SH-1 24 time zoom travel camera. It's a pocket camera, has an LCD, no you'll find of its own. The resolution of the LCD is 426 pixels, something like that. Twice as many would be great, but then I only paid the price of a travel zoom.
I will chase birds in flight another time when there's more of them flying that is I also want to collect a print that I've done at 33 times 23 inches. So I better collect it before I hit the going home traffic. Time to go home and catch that print.